If you ever tried running your campsite off solar, you know the biggest headache is shade. One tree branch or a bit of obstruction and suddenly your power station isn't charging. Today we're testing the Renogy Shadow Flux 200 watt solar panel, a rigid panel designed to keep producing power even when conditions aren't perfect. Now let's go over the key features. First, it uses Shadow Flux anti-shading technology, which means even a part of the panel is covered by shade, it will keep producing power instead of dropping out like traditional panels. It's built with N-type solar cells offering up to 25% conversion efficiency. Compared to older P-type panels, these give you better performance, a longer lifespan, and more consistent output year after year. The panel also uses an advanced 16 bus bar design, which improves energy conversion and adds durability by reducing the risk of tiny cracks that can hurt performance over time. On the durability side, it carries an IP67 waterproof rating. That means it's completely sealed against dust and tough enough to handle heavy rain or even temporary submersion. For peace of mind, it comes with a five-year product warranty and a 25-year performance guarantee so Renogy backs it to still deliver at least 80% of its rated power, even decades down the road. And in terms of size, it measures 49.69 inches long, 30 inches wide, and just 1.18 inches thick, with a weight of about 25 pounds. So while it's rugged, it's also manageable to mount or move around as part of your system. This is not a flimsy portable panel, it's a rugged piece of gear designed to handle the elements for years. Here's where the Shadow Flux really makes a difference. Traditional solar panels are wired in strings and even if a small section gets shaded, like a tree branch across the corner or a roof rack casting a shadow, the entire string slows down. Instead of just losing a little power where the shadow is, you can lose 30, 40, or even 50% of your total output. In fact, most traditional panels will lose all power once shading exceeds about 22%. Just a quick heads up, the Shadow Flux 200 watt panel runs at about 31.3 volts operating with an open circuit voltage around 36.5 volts and a current of about 6.38 amps. That's higher than what many smaller power stations are designed to handle. Before plugging it in, always check your power station or battery system input voltage range. Now to our testing phase. I do have my two Renogy Shadow Flux panels on top. Each one is 200 watts. I will only be testing the front panel. The back one is not plugged in at the moment. I'm not gonna be testing both combined in parallel, so we'll only do one panel. And I will be kind of comparing it to the one that's on the ground. It's some cheap 100 watt uh, flexible panel. Again, it's a 100 watt going against a 200 watt. It's not a comparison, a fair comparison at all. And this one is flexible, but I do wanna show how the shadow flux works when the cells are covered. For testing, I do have two of my power stations. I have my all powers and I have my anchor, but my anchor is at 100% and it won't show me how much solar input's coming in, but it happens to be that my all powers is only at 17%, so it's charging at the moment. So I'm gonna show you guys how much solar input it takes in. Now for the testing phase, I will only be testing the front Renogy Shadow Flux panel, uh, just so I don't confuse you guys. So again, only the front one's plugged in, this back one is not plugged in. For the record, it is 12.50 p.m. Some of the best time to get some solar out here. And I do have some cloud coverage, but I'm only doing it once the sun is exposed, as you see right here. So let's go ahead and see what we are reading on the shadow flux at the moment. And right now we are marking at 170 watts. Again, the front solar panel is only plugged in. I have it wired. I am using an extension plugged in directly up there. 170 watts. 171 actually. I've been able to get full power out of both of them. At one point I got 401 watts in parallel, both of them. Got 171 watts, doing pretty good. 172. As you can see, sun is out.
marking 168. Let's go ahead and take off the cloth. Let's see what we're marking at now. Very good. Let's cover this whole entire row. Again, sun still out. 158. Oui. Let's do more right here. Ugh. 131, 130, 132. All right. 75. Okay. Sounds still hot. All right. Hold two by four. Let's see where we're at. 86. So this is not a fair test. This panel right here is only, okay, so this is not a fair test. This is a, a 100 watt panel and our Renogy is 200. So not a good comparison, but I just want to demonstrate how this one would perform. I put it on top of this other panel that's not operating at the moment. I want to get the same um, placement as my Renogy. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's see, what are we reading with this 100 watt panel? Right now we're only getting 51 watts. That is it. Let's look at our sun condition right now. Full sun. So let's go ahead and do a partial shade test. Let's put a cloth just like we did with our Renogy. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this cell right here. Let's cover it up. See what happens. All right. We're gone guys <laughs> We lost everything just with that right there. We lost everything. Okay, let's let's be a little nicer I guess let's just cover a little less than that, right? Let's just cover These right here, I guess All right, let's see what happens 7 6 Wow the Renogy Shadowflux 200 watt panel is built for campers, overlanders, and off-grid travelers who need reliable power even when conditions aren't ideal. Between the anti-shading performance, 25% conversion efficiency, 16 bus bar durability, IP67 waterproofing, and Renogy's 25 year performance guarantee, this panel is more than just a power source, it's a peace of mind on the trail. And it's not the cheapest 200 watt panel out there, but if you're tired of losing power every time your panel catches a shadow, the Shadow Flux is a very smart investment.